Welcome to Modeling the Rover Part 3. In this video we are going to resume construction of the wheel focusing on the hub. If you've been following along you can use your existing drawing or download the file in the description of this video. We are going to start by drawing an octagon as the base profile for our hub. But first, let's draw a construction line bisecting the angle of the two spokes and give it a length of 10 and a half. Now select the polygon tool, tab into the inspector bar, and set the number of sides to 8. And before we draw anything, let's change the line color to blue and the pattern to solid. Now draw a polygon by snapping to the two endpoints of the construction line. Next, select the simple extrude tool and create a single sided extrude of 3 inches. Now we are going to move this entity to be flush with the other parts. Since we are working in the world coordinate system, we will move the entity negatively in the Y direction. Select the extrude, then tab into the delta Y field of the inspector bar and enter a value of negative 2. Next we will round the corners of our 3D octagon. Choose the fillet edges tool and enter a value of 1 in the start radius field. Now select the 3D octagon and highlight the nodes on each corner, clicking the finish flag when complete. For the top edges, we are going to create a variable blend, with the radius of the blend being larger at the midpoint of each side of the octagon. To do this, we will need to mark the midpoint of each side with a point. First choose work plane by facet, then select the top of the hub. Let's save this work plane and name it hub top. Now choose the cross point and place a point on the middle of each edge using the midpoint snap. Next, place additional points at each corner snapping to the vertices of the existing edge blends. Now choose the edge blend tool and select the hub. Next, right click and choose variable radius blend from the local menu. Now select the top edges and hit finish. Now select each of the cross points we have placed along the edges and hit the finish flag when complete. Now select the part and open the selection info palette. Choose the variable radius blend entry and expand the blend radius positions. The radius will highlight in the drawing when its position is selected in the part tree, so it should be easy to tell which is which. Before making any changes, right click the part tree entry and select Delay Update from the local menu that pops up. Now edit the radii of the various positions. We will want the corners to have a quarter inch radius and the middle positions to have a two inch radius. Once finished, right click the part tree entry and select Auto Update. Next, we will create slots in the hub so that we can mount the hub to the spokes. Choose the slot tool, then change its color to red. Now start the slot by snapping to the center of the hole in the spoke then using snaps to guide the angle, enter a value of 4 and a quarter inches. For the width, enter a value of 1 inch. Next, create 8 copies of the slot using the radial copy tool at a 45 degree angle. Now choose the imprint tool and select the top face of the part. In the inspector bar, set the bottom radius to 1 inch, choose fill it for the bottom, and highlight the slot option. Next, holding the shift key, select each of the slots, then tab into the inspector bar and enter a height of negative 5. Now let's create a block from this part and name it Hub. Be sure to leave it in place so we don't have to reposition. In the next video, we will create the mount that attaches the hub to the spokes, but for now, that is all.